The Pittsburgh Steelers really need to start thinking about giving defensive end DeMarvin Leal a different role on the defense this next season. So, as we all know, the Pittsburgh Steelers drafted DeMarvin Leal in last year's draft in the third round, but since then, he really hasn't seen the field much for the team. He's been injured, but not only that, he's been stuck in the bottom of the depth chart, behind guys like Cameron Hayward, Larry Ogunjobi, Martavius Adams, and also Tyson Alulu. But now, with a lack of depth at outside linebacker position, he might be needed that position more than he is on the defensive line. And I believe he should make a transition to the rush edge defender behind left outside linebacker TJ Watt and right outside linebacker Alex Highsmith. He should be much more needed at that position and see the field much more. As a person drafted in the third round, that means the Steelers saw value in him and he shouldn't be just stuck in the bottom of the depth chart at that defensive end position. He's not a nose tackle, he's not a defense tackle. He played defensive end in college, but also he played off the edge. That's why I'm saying that he could succeed at the next level. Right now, behind TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith, they only have Jameer Jones and also Quincy Roche, who were practice squad players a year ago. So they don't have that depth at the position. And the Steers also brought in outside linebacker Bud Dupree for a workout, but they haven't signed him. So right now, the Steers are lacking that position. And switching to Marvin Leal to that rush outside linebacker position could be really huge for the Steelers. Looking at DeMarvin Leal's draft profile coming out of college, there were great things said about him in terms of that flexibility and versatility. He played defensive line, but he also played off the edge. And the main things I wrote about him was his flexibility to play off the edge and his first step explosiveness. It was written that he has that great bend to go past the tackles and dip his shoulder and go past them. And also he has that motor and effort that's needed at the position and lateral mobility. Those are the huge things that was said about him in his draft profile. Also, just looking at his weight and his size at the position, he actually might be more suited for outside linebacker as well. He only weighs 290 pounds, and that's really light for a defensive tackle or nose tackle. That's more suited for outside linebacker. So, his frame is really meant for that position as well. And as I said, the Steelers, Cameron Hayward, Larry Ogunjobi. Cameron Hayward has been with the Steelers a long time and has been great and still was great this past season. Even though many were talking bad about him early in the season, he still finished strong. And also, the Steelers signed Larry Ogunjobi to a three-year contract. So, those guys are always going to be there and always be ahead of DeMarvin Leal. But, as a young guy in this league, you need to find a way how to get time. And if you could be both a guy who could back up those two, but also be there to back up TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith, that's how you're going to get more time. And if the Steelers focus on making him the edge rusher, it could be huge both for his career and just the Steelers' depth at both positions in general. And Isaiah Laddermilk, the Steelers picked him, what, in the fourth or fifth round two years ago, three years ago? He really hasn't got much playing time as well. So if you're making DeMarvin Leal the backup at outside linebacker, it bumps Isaiah Laddermilk up the rotation in the defense line. And we all know he's good at run defense more than he is pass defense, and that's what Steelers like from the defense lineman. So that helps everyone on the depth chart play a better role on the team. And that's why I believe the Steelers really need to think about giving DeMarvin Leal a different role on the team. Yes, I know the coaches know better and they're going to decide whatever they decide, but that's just my opinion from the outside looking in and the outside perspective, looking at the film that he had in college, doing great things on the outside and inside. It could help both him and the Steelers long term and also short term. So, with that being said, let me know your thoughts and down in the comments below. Do you believe that DeMarvin Leal needs to move out to outside linebacker? We all know injuries happen, and if TJ Watt or Alex Highsmith go down like TJ Watt did a year ago with his pick injury, right now the Steers have no depth at that position. Or do you believe that DeMarvin Leal should stick to his position and just stay on the defense line and he's best suited there? Let me know your comments down in the comments below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to Channel Mode as well if you like serious content, analysis, and reports. Like the video, turn on post notifications down below for, for this channel as well so you get notified whenever I post the next year's video. I've been covering all of free agency, I'm going to be covering all the draft, 
and every news coming out for the Pittsburgh Steelers, just know I'm covering it. I'm also going to make more videos like this, talking about the positions for the Steelers, and kind of give my own thoughts to the team for this upcoming season. So, like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys all later. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.